Hey traders, in this video we're going to be covering our PFA tab selector. I'm pretty excited about this product. It's very simple yet a very effective tool. We use it a lot especially in our live room and I think of it not to say that it is but my opinion on the matter is that it acts as a manual scanner of sorts. So it really just helps me to go through a lot of markets uh, a little bit faster than usual. So let's go ahead and walk through it. What is it? How do we apply it? And so on and so forth. As you can see down here in the bottom left of my corner you can see their PFA tab selector. Now first and foremost this is a floating window so if we want to move that around I can simply grab with my left click of the mouse and I can move it anywhere I desire and I have these three charts up it'll make a lot of sense in a moment because I want to iterate through my points as to how valuable this is. Uh, so, so again PFA tab selector what I want to do here though is I want to close this out and the reason I'm going to do that is because I want you to see how we can apply this from start to finish. Okay, so I'm just going to literally go ahead and left click here. I'm going to close this out and I'm going to bring over my Ninja Trader Control Center. All right, and in order to bring this up, because number one, this is not an indicator nor a strategy, etc., it's a tool, and we're going to find that in the new menu. So I'm going to left click new, and if you notice right down here at the bottom, we have PFA tab selector. I'm going to go ahead and left click that. It's going to pop up on my screen to which I can bring this over. Now, We'll move this control center away as we no longer need it. As I said before, this is a floating window, so I can move it anywhere I want. I prefer it to be kind of hidden away, you know, maybe down here in the bottom left of my screen. But again, it can be put anywhere we desire. Now, uh, one thing to notate here is that we have already named these tags, and that is stored in the corresponding template of the tab selector. Therefore, you're going to see this ESNQ. MGC and NG. Now these correspond to the names of the markets that I have in the labels. But I want to make this very clear that is of no relevance because the way that this will come is tab one, tab two, tab three, and so on and so forth. So as you can see here, I've opted for the total of four tabs. Okay, and the reason that I did that is because that's how many I have on each chart. So what this tool here is going to do is essentially select the corresponding number to the tab on each chart and it's going to open that tab in and of itself. Okay, so for example here I've titled and or named ES for this tab number one and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So we have ES here uh, because again that is the market on each tab number one. So what if I want to switch to tab number two? Now currently this is NQ because I've titled it and or named it that way, but I could give this any name that I want. All right. Um, the, the important thing here is that this is tab number two. So we're going from the top one, two, three, four, and so on. All right. So number one and number two, what I want you to do is watch what happens to the charts here. And there we go. So what you can see is very, very fast and efficient. It essentially takes every second tab of every chart and it will push it all simultaneously. All right, so if I were to go here and left click MGC, that is underneath the hood, so to speak, tab number three. So I'm going to left click and you can see how automatically and simultaneously all three tabs are switched to that corresponding market. So let's say I want to go back to the S&P and or just generally tab number one. So I can left click that and there we go it happens all simultaneously. Now uh, again I want to reiterate that we did name these previously. Okay that's going to be stored on your system just like any template would be. But let's say that I want to alter this name because from time to time, of course, we may change the markets or reorder the tabs or whatever the case may be. Now, or we may just change them frequently and we don't want to give them a name at all. So let's say that I'm going to add a fifth tab here and I just know that I'm going to constantly change that. So maybe I don't want to name it based on the market in and of itself. I want to just literally leave it tab number five or again whatever we desire. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to change from four and I'm going to select I'm going to left click five. All right now what it does is applies another tab. You can also see that this has now changed to the number five. So see here where we have tab five right. If I want to rename that I can left click my settings icon and there you can give it a new tab name of whatever I like. OK, and then I can simply click OK. And now you can see I have whatever I like. <laughs> 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert back to my four tabs because as you can see here, I don't have a fifth one. So what happens in that case? Absolutely nothing. So if I click on whatever I like, you can simply see that it doesn't do anything. So there's not going to be a problem per se. It's just basically of no use until I add a fifth tab, at which time it is going to simultaneously change all the charts to whatever I like. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back to the ES. I'm just going to do this really fast. And here you'll see why I think of it. Again, it's not, but why do I think of it as a manual scanner? Well, simply put, because I can go through all of my markets. So let's see how long it might take us to get through these four markets. If I'm looking for, in our case, supply and demand, or if, you know, am I coming close to something and so on. I just want to scan for something. So I'm going to go, okay, I want to left click ES, NASDAQ, gold, natural gas. I think I did that in less than a second. It might have been maybe two seconds. I don't want to exaggerate it there. Um, but again, you can see why I look at it as a manual scanner. Of course, I wouldn't actually go that fast. I may go up, up here and look at the S&P, following the NASDAQ, following the gold market. I'm not seeing anything, following natural gas, and so on and so forth. Okay. So here we have it. We're going to set that on the S&P. And I just, again, wanted to bring this tool to your attention. Uh, simple yet very effective. Some very cool things about it. Uh, number one, again, it is a floating tool. And if I want, I can resize this. Okay. So uh, we don't want to add too many bells and whistles here. We're not trying to reinvent wheels or anything like that. But we just need something to make our lives more efficient. So if I go here, you can see here we have a total of 20. So if I want to add something, say, like 10 tabs, okay, so what it's going to do is auto adjust the size of that for us. Um, and again, if I want to kind of stretch that out or what, maybe here where I said whatever I like, um, that's getting a little bit larger with my text. So of course, if I put more text in there, I might want to stretch that out a little bit, make it a little bit more responsive and so on and so forth. Okay, so all that being said, I'm going to take this back down to my preferred four tabs. And I'm just going to hide it away. And then I'm going to go start doing my analysis. I can move my charts around or whatever I desire. So this has been the PFA tab selector. Please remember it is not an indicator nor a strategy and will be found in the new tab and or menu from NinjaTrader Control Center near the bottom. All right. Thank you for reviewing this video. I hope that it has been very helpful. And let us know if you have any questions and or need support of any kind. God bless.